Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick get ready to go ice skating video. So this is how I usually get ready for ice skating. So usually before um, getting started, I like to use Burt's Bees. My lips get super, super dry when I'm on the ice. So I also have um, a Burt's Bees in my skating bag. I make sure to keep one in there. What I also do is I make sure I moisturize my face like crazy. In general, my skin gets super, super dry. I don't know if this happens to everybody, but it definitely happens to me. So I'm gonna pull my hair back. I just wanted to show you guys because I got a haircut yesterday. Anyways, I'm just gonna pull my hair back so it's out of my face. And I usually wear my hair up um, to skating, um, but every once in a while I'll leave it down. And then I do regret it because I hate when my hair is down because it gets in my face. Lala Retro Whipped Cream. And it says to use it on um, clean skin. I'm gonna move on to my next step. And that is primer. So for foundation, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Brush Wear. Dump it on my brush, and then I will kind of pat that in. So now I'm just gonna move on to some concealer. We'll use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Isn't that a look? I don't think anybody looks pretty during concealer. I think that that's just universal. You look like a nut. It does look really light right now, but I promise once I put my bronzer on, it'll all, it'll all just work out. So now I'm gonna grab my Kat Von D setting powder, and this is translucent. I ordered rockers for my skates. If you don't know what rockers is, it's a company that creates hard, like custom hard guards for your skates. Um, so I ordered them for my skates and they came in and they were the wrong size. So I mistook their measurement thing and I had ordered a seven inch blade. So they're like really tiny and mine is uh, nine and three fourths. I don't know how I messed it up. So I had emailed Rockers and asked them if there's any way that I could do an exchange and they said no. So... $40 in because that's how much they cost. I think they actually cost exactly $40. Um, I can't return them. So now I don't know what to do. So if you know anybody that has seven inch rockers and they want them, I did post them up on eBay. Um, they're brand new, obviously. They, I took them out of the package, realized they wouldn't fit. And that was the end of it. So I do have them up on eBay. I'll try to link the link in my description box. I did order new ones. I didn't order them from Rockers. I ordered them from, um, I think it's called like figure skating store. So I ordered it from there. Um, so it's gonna take them a little bit longer to get here. And it's still like technically, like Rockers is still getting it money for it cause it's still Rocker brand. But I didn't wanna order from Rockers again. I was really mad. I'm pulling it all together. Um, for eyebrows, I normally use this Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. I don't know where the cap is, but 
This is in the shade Soft Brown. use this uh, tattoo uh, Maybelline tattoo studio it's kind of all wiped off unfortunately because I use it every single day and it lasts me forever put a little bit of product on my brush and then I will zoom the tail of my eyebrow I'm gonna use this Artitech Artitech slim eyeliner show you guys a quick trick that I like to do. I'll take whatever lipstick I want to wear for the day. So this is like a L'Oreal one. And what I do is I open it slightly. I take whatever finger and I rub a little bit of color on it. Then I'll take this and then just kind of dab this, dab it along my lips like that. So yeah, very subtle. Um, and yeah, I am gonna grab my clothing, what I usually wear to the rink. We'll kind of chit chat about that really quick. So hopefully you guys could still see me sitting here. I just kind of needed more move room. So first thing I'm gonna start off with is my pads. These are my knee pads right here. Um, they are from McDavid. So these are my knee pads. These are my elbow pads. They are also from McDavid. I'm going to do a video, um, just on my knee pads and elbow pads. Yeah, that'll be in another video. So those are my pads. Those are what I wear every single day. If I don't have them on, I feel awkward and weird. So I always make sure to have those. The next thing is my tights. I wear tights every time I skate because I feel that they keep me warm. I know a lot of people don't like them, but for me, I don't even feel them most of the time. Um, these tights are to go over your skate, so they have like the little hooks and stuff. And I like these because they kind of protect your boot as well from getting completely destroyed on the ice. So I always wear some sort of tights like this. Um, I also have, I have two pairs of these and then I have another pair of tights that just go like over the ankle part of your, um, of your boot. Um, but I do really prefer the, um, clip ones. Next, what I just bought that I'm excited about cause I've never used are these, um, knee high stocking socks. I usually always just wear like tall socks. I don't wear like super thick ones, but they're not like skating socks. So I did go out and buy some skating socks and hopefully these will be my everyday, you know, not every day cause I don't skate every day, but like every time I go skating, um, you know, I'll probably try to wear these. Uh, I'm also not into the idea of leaving dirty socks in your skating bag. I know that I've seen so many skating videos of girls that Pretty much say they wear the same socks over and over again uh i need to wash my socks every time i wear them so they'll probably be on rotation i'll probably wear them like once a week my next thing is my victoria's secret sports bra now again i don't wear this every single time i go skating i like i wear it usually like once a week um because that's when i'll wash my skating gear um but this bra in particular is awesome Sorry if you're a boy watching this video, this is a little weird, but it gives you such great support. Um, I forget what it's called. It's the Victoria's Secret like sport line. So not, not pink, it's Victoria's Secret. Um, it's called Knockout by Victoria's Secret. So why I like it is because it has this zipper here. 
So you kind of open that up and then it has like a bra on the inside and this kind of attaches right here at the front. So I love this bra. It is so supportive. It makes sure nothing moves around. Everything stays in its place. So definitely um, look into these. They are a little pricey. I think I paid like oh, $30 for it, but it has lasted me a very long time. I used to run. Um, so this was like a lifesaver when I used to run as well. The next thing, again, these are stuff that I kind of rotate in and out. I'll usually wear a shirt like this, as I'm wearing today, like a thermal type of long sleeve shirt, nothing too, like, nothing too thick. And then I'll put my uh, elbow pads over it. Sorry for the noise outside. And then I'll usually wear a hoodie over my t-shirt. So this is my Adult Skate 2 hoodie that I just recently bought. I actually wore this once so far and it's super comfy. It's so pretty and I like that it's repping adult skaters because we don't get too much, uh, too much attention out there. And last but not least, what I normally wear is some sort of yoga pants. I know a lot of girls say they can't wear yoga pants because they feel like they're too cold and that's why I wear my stockings because it just doesn't make me cold and I like being able to move around on the ice so that's the biggest um, you know the biggest thing for me so I really like these in particular these are by Yogalicious Lux and I got these from Marshalls I'm pretty sure it was Mar Marshalls and they also have a pocket which I thought is really cool so um, my phone fits right in here and I like to skate with my phone on me um, I know it's not usually recommended but I either like to record videos when I'm on the ice or even if somebody just needs to call me, um, I always have my phone on me. So wearing these are great because I can just throw my phone in there and I can't even feel my phone like on my leg. I usually wear some sort of headband that covers my ears. Um, so I'll either wear my hair up in like a ponytail or I'll leave it down and put the headband on. And I also wear gloves. Um, I feel weird when I don't have gloves on so I have to have to put them on. They're nothing fancy. I just, I don't use like the figure skating gloves. I just use regular, you know, cotton gloves. All right guys, so this is the final look, if you wanna say. Um, this is pretty much normally what I do when I'm getting ready to go um, ice skating. So I have my Adult Skate 2 hoodie on and I also have my knee pads on as well as my elbow pads and like I said this is normally what I wear or something similar to it um, I'll put on a headband so normally I'd wear a headband like this and also my gloves my gloves are inside my skating bag right now and I don't want to forget them um, and yeah so this is this is it this is the get ready to go ice skating with me video um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry that the beginning of the video was long and maybe boring if that's not what you're into. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it would mean the world to me. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.